Andy is almost ready to go to college. To find out what happens to Buzz, Woody, and the other toys, read along with me in your book. You will know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin now. For a long time, Woody the Cowboy felt as if he was the luckiest toy in the world. He belonged to Andy, who loved him as much as anyone could. For years, Andy played with Woody, Buzz, Jesse, and all his other toys. Like all children, though, Andy grew up. One day, Woody told the other toys that Andy was going to college. We all knew this day was coming. Buzz Lightyear, the Space Ranger, tried to cheer them up. Whatever happens, at least we'll all be together. Andy packed Woody into a box to bring to college. He put his other toys in a bag to take up to the attic. But Andy's mom thought the bag was trash and took it outside. Woody saw the mistake. He knew he had to save his friends. Think, 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 think. Finally, Woody made it to the curb. He opened the bags, but all he found was garbage. Where had the toys gone? Woody spotted the toys in the garage. Let her control, Woody. We have a plan. Buzz and the other toys thought Andy didn't want them anymore. They had decided to get in a box that was being sent to Sunnyside Daycare. Woody tried to explain. He was putting you in the attic. I know, it looks bad, but guys, you gotta believe me. Jesse the cowgirl wasn't convinced. Andy's moving on, Woody. It's time we did the same. Just then, the car doors closed. All the toys, including Woody, were on their way. At Sunnyside, the toys were greeted by a bear named Lotso. Well, hello there. He showed them to the toddler classroom. Here's where you folks will be staying. The toys were excited to see so many children. Rex the dinosaur couldn't wait for recess to end. Why can't time go faster? Woody was frustrated. You have a kid, Andy. Now I'm going home. He marched away alone. Woody snuck onto the roof. He found an old kite and tried to fly it back to Andy's house, but it crashed into a tree. Just then, a little girl named Bonnie walked by. She thought Woody was lost, so she took him home. In the toddler room, Buzz got the toys together. Places, everyone! Then the kids came in. Playtime was awful. By the end, Rex's tail was missing and Slinky Dog was all tangled up. And they never played with us like that. Buzz went to Lotso to request a transfer. Those kids need someone to play with. Lotso told Buzz he could move, but the other toys had to stay. Oh, yeah. Buzz refused, so Lotso's crew pushed his reset button. The Space Ranger forgot about his friends. Meanwhile, Mrs. Potato Head discovered something. She could see what was happening at Andy's house with the eyes she'd left behind. I think he did mean to put us in the attic. Woody was telling the truth. Slinky Dog and the other toys realized they had made a mistake. Jesse took charge. We gotta go home! Lotso and his gang walked in. You ain't leaving Sunnyside. Jesse wasn't scared. And who's gonna stop us? Buzz still didn't remember that Andy's toys were his friends. Following Lotso's orders, he trapped them. Prisoners disabled, Commander Lotso. Jesse wondered how they would escape. I miss Woody. Woody was having a wonderful time at Bonnie's house. Still, he kept thinking about Andy. He's leaving soon. I gotta get home. Then Woody found out Bonnie's toys knew about Sunnyside Daycare. They told Woody that Lotso had belonged to a girl named Daisy. She had lost him, and by the time he found his way back, Daisy had gotten a new toy bear. Since then, Lotso had hated new toys. My friends are in there. Woody had to save them, fast. Woody snuck into Sunnyside Daycare in Bonnie's backpack. We're busting out of here, the night. First, the toys had to get Buzz back to normal. They trapped him in a bin. Ooh, over his back, there's a switch. The toys accidentally reset Buzz to Spanish mode. Come on, El Buzzo. Woody led the toys to the playground. 
they snuck past Lotso's guard, a doll named Big Baby. At last, the toys made it through a chute that led outside. All they had to do was get across an open dumpster. Then Lotso appeared. Well, well, look who's back. He tried to get Big Baby to stop them. Lotso ended up inside the dumpster, though. The toys started to run away, but Lotso grabbed Woody's legs. Oh, come on! Jesse tried to save Woody. <laughs> it was no use. The garbage truck arrived. All the toys were emptied into a trash compactor. Luckily, everyone was all right. Where are we now? Buzz had hit his head when he landed. Now he was back to normal. At the dump, the toys were headed toward a trash shredder. Buzz spotted a magnet overhead. Grab something metal! Soon the magnet had pulled the toys upward. Then Woody heard Lotso call out. I'm stuck! Help, please! Woody and Buzz rescued him, and the toys moved over the shredder onto a conveyor belt. The toys were still in danger. Lotso was the only one who could push the stop button and save them. Where's your kid now, Sheriff? Lotso walked away. He hadn't changed. Andy's toys held hands and closed their eyes. Suddenly, something lifted them up. The aliens had saved them with a crane. The crane left the toys near a garbage truck that looked familiar. It was the one that went by Andy's house. Jesse grabbed Woody. Come on! We gotta go home! Andy was packing his car when the garbage truck arrived. The toys snuck up to his room. Inside, Andy's toys climbed into a box labeled Attic. Woody was going to college with Andy. Buzz reached out and shook Woody's hand. You know where to find this cowboy. Buzz jumped into the box with the other toys. Woody realized he didn't want to say goodbye to his friends. He wrote something new on the attic box. On the way to college, Andy stopped at Bonnie's house. Woody had written her address on the attic box. Andy showed her the toys. I'm going away now, so I need someone really special to play with me. He was surprised that Woody was in the box. My cowboy! Bonnie gave him a giant hug. Woody and the other toys watched Andy drive away. So long. Woody would miss Andy, but he would always remember the years they had spent together. Now he and the other toys had lots of new adventures with Bonnie to look forward to.